How's it going, everyone? Daniel here. It's time to review Supernatural Season 11, Episode 19, titled The Chitters. Spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me about two minutes to recap and give you the pros, cons, and final score. Now, uh, this episode, man, a little, uh, little strange, uh, you know, <sighs> something different, something new, sort of. Uh, just it, It's great to see hunters, kind of different perspectives of hunters and, you know, having, because there's two hunters in this that are new and, uh, I thought it was kind of interesting, you know, because Bobby and Rufus, of course, we see some hunters, obviously, throughout the seasons, every now and then, but usually, most of the time, they either end up dead, or, uh, you know, they rarely live on to see another day, but it was fun to see this episode, uh, you know, a few good things about it, so let's get right on to it. The Chitters. First off, man, this kid and uh, this brother, these brothers... 1989, they're walking through the woods, and all of a sudden, this guy, you know, the little one, like 10, 13 years old, he gotta go pee, he gotta go unleash the dragon and the lizard, and <laughs> so that happens, he goes, and uh, he hears his brother yell, and then all of a sudden, this mutant-looking monster takes his brother, and, uh, like, takes form of his brother, possesses his brother, and all this weird things go on, so his brother ends up going missing, that ends up happening, that's the opening there. So Sam and Dean are on the case, and Winchester's are back. So anyway, they're called Chitters, and they're basically uh, these creatures that have orgies. And there's a bunch of these creatures, and they have, you know, they go out it and produce, and every 27, every 26, 27 years, they come back. And, uh, you know, they didn't need to do it again. They, you know, have to have the babies produce and everything. So this guy is killed, and he was with his girlfriend. They were walking, and all of a sudden they see, you know, the two monsters. They have green eyes and everything, and they look like humans, and they have the mouths are sharp as thorns and shit. And the guy ends up getting killed, man. The girl ends up running away, and, of course, Sam and Dean go and uh, talk to her, investigate all that. So Dean is attacked, and he meets these two hunters, and this guy, and they, they save... Dean's life, or else Dean would have been dead. So he ends up, uh, well, the two guys are married to each other, so I'm like, that's something different, man. Finally, you know, it's a little different every now and then. Uh, and the guy, the guy whose name's Jerry, is the kid from the opening, His the one that his brother was taking. He's a hunter now, so I was like, that's amazing. Like, I was like, wow, like, I never expected that. That was pretty cool there. So this Dean and guy, uh, they're in the woods, which is he's with his husband and then Jerry is with Sam and they're going to go talk to the sheriff that was back in 1989 so they're called Abyspin the, 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 the monsters the creatures are called Abyspin so anyway they talk to the sheriff his name is Joe his daughter was one of them she was one of the missing she was a creature and that's why he kept it under wraps he kn and he knew the location of his brother like of the missing people but he never reported it so that ends up happening there and you know he lied for many years. Dean is in the mine. He's attacked. There's this big fight that goes on. They end up winning, and they're going to burn the bodies. Jesse ends up finding his brother's skeleton. They end up giving him a burial. And, uh, you know, after that, they do their separate ways. The other ones are going to go live their lives, have fun. Sam and Dean got to go stop that darkness. So what did I think about this episode overall? First off, with the pros, I have to say, again, just seeing those two hunters was just awesome to see some a different perspective and at least they get to go live their lives while well, Sam and Dean still has to you know kind of go and you know save the world again uh, Jesse's anger felt really real when the guy was kind of like pissed off at the sheriff and he felt like this guy has had anger he needs closure you could see it in the guy's eyes and the, he just needs that closure and he needs to find out really what happened to his brother and find his remains uh the ending of the episode too just how dean he was going to ask the guys the hunters if they could help us you know just destroy the darkness but uh after he heard that you know like well we're gonna go put up our you know we're gonna go put up the spurs and sit down and just rest, you know, and go to New Mexico and stuff like that. So I thought that ending was kind of, you know, nice that Dean didn't kind of go over and be like, well, you know, you could do one last job, you know, and, you know, I, I thought that was very nice that he ended up not doing that. Um, again, just emotional tension. So much emotional gripping tension within the episode, as in the sheriff when he was like, my daughter, 
all this and that, and it has a lot of just, um, you could feel the emotion in there, I mean, I may have not cried, but at least enough for I'm like, you, you feel like, oh, that sucks, like his daughter was one, but then you're kind of like, well, you should have told people that it was happening, and, you know, d d you feel that within the episode, so, the cons that I didn't like about this, man, the things that I wasn't a big fan of for this episode, the creatures themselves, I mean, they were, they're almost like other creatures we've seen, as in, all you have to do is cut off their head, and they're like, Wah! like you know what I mean? Like the look of them too. Like they, the, the past few episodes in season eleven, very like lazy on how the creatures look. Like all they do is have some makeup on, and they're like, Wah! like that's all it is really. And I'm kind of like, man, Supernatural used to be a little bit more. You know, I'm not saying it's a horrible episode or a horrible show. I'm just saying it used to have a little bit more pizzazz or, you know, something to the creatures. And now they have makeup and that's, ah, and, you know, that's it. That, that's all they, they, they give you. And uh, I just kind of wish it was just something bigger. So, you know, all you have to do is cut off their head. That's it. That, that's it. I'm, but, eh, you know, I, I didn't dislike the creatures themselves. I thought that was kind of like another lame villain of the week sort of thing. The whole turnout of the sheriff, too, I mean, they went to go get answers from the sheriff. They do get that the mine, you know, the mine is the area and the lair, but the sheriff basically the whole time, you know, emotional gripping, but still the whole sheriff thing where he was like, he goes and does his face and then he's like, I'm going to tell you what, I'll call you when I have, like, when I'm ready to talk about it. Well, sir, you don't have a phone. Like, he was literally just lying to their faces and, like, you're not going to call him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the whole sheriff turned out of how he was lying and then he lied again and then he lied a third time and then he ended up saying the truth. There's all that sort of, like, it was just a waste of time where, like, get to the point, go do the thing, kill the creature. Uh, because, as you know, for Supernatural, I do enjoy Monsters of the Week, but... There are a few episodes of Monsters of the Week where it's just like, this wasn't needed. Like, when you think about it, this episode wasn't needed. You could, you could, you don't have to watch this episode, you know, to uh, continue with the season. Like, you could totally skip over this episode. This episode's not, you know, doesn't need to be seen. Uh, but, you know, overall, I'm going to give this episode for Supernatural, The Chitters, a B-. minus. It's a good episode, man. It's not great or anything. It's not really good. It's just, you know, good. Like, yeah, it's a good one, man. But, again, you can just skip over. You don't need to see this. Episode. Like, it's not a must. Um, nothing huge happens. There's nothing that moves on in the storyline. They just meet two hunters. I thought the two hunters were cool. It's cool that, you know, they work together and Jesse and Sam got stuff done. Dean and the other guy got stuff done. But, by the, uh, you know, not a big, you know, big episode or anything. The creatures didn't... They really sucked at fighting. They kind of just got on you and ah, and that was basically it. Uh, so disappointing things, but still, yeah, there are entertaining scenes overall. So B minus. Comment down below, tell me what you guys thought about the episode. If you enjoyed my review, make sure to leave a like. You could share with your friends, and I'll see you this fall for Supernatural season twelve. Subscribe for more. Till next time, bye bye.